Order accepted. This is the second part to a three base roach opening for ZVP. If you haven't watched the first video already, click here. Our overlord has scouted that there's no forge fast expand for the Protoss. To respond to this, we'll take our first gas and our second queen right away. With our first 100 gas, we're going to get zergling speed. If we can, we'll be able to scout any pressure coming from the Protoss with our initial zerglings. However, if we can't do this, we can assume that some sort of pressure is going to come from the Protoss soon. If we're trying to defend with the absolute minimal number of zerglings, we'll need 4 zerglings for each attacking unit, like zealots and stalkers, and 2 zerglings for each spellcasting unit, like sentries and the mothership core. Many times it's useful to build lots of zerglings, that way we can put our opponent on the back foot so we can take our third base. If our opponent has not walled in properly, or is not ready for our attack, we can do a lot of damage. But there's nothing wrong with pulling back once we've realized our attack isn't making any progress. While our zerglings are out on the map gaining us map control and putting pressure on our opponent, we will build a roach warren, evolution chamber, two gas, and take our third. We have now successfully made it into the mid game with a strong economy and decent tech. From here there are many different options. Choosing the best one will depend on your scouting. This build works well because it gives you a strong economy. It's flexible as you can play it against a gateway expand or a forge fast expand and it's safe against all ends. However, this build is very reliant on scouting, so it may take a little while to learn the proper responses to each Protoss threat. My name is Jack Attack, and as always, thanks for watching. If you have an idea for a video that you'd like us to do, please leave it along with any questions, comments, criticisms, concerns, or anything beginning with the letter C in the comment section below, and we'll see you again soon.